Entering the Trojan Horse style, you are now inside of a highly confidential government black site called Wargate. Your task is to recover a captured Halcyon operative located in the cell blocks and exfiltrate via a helicopter while faking a prisoner transfer. There will be multiple hostile guards who won't give warnings but shoot on sight. We have to think ahead to win against them. Halcyon has no more rooms for Orvers. Welcome to the black side. Now since I have already made a video covering the mechanics of waypoints and pathfindings in a Fast and Glitches episode, I am not going to explain those again in this video. If you haven't watched it already, I recommend you go and watch it first. Link in the description, and I'll also put a card at the top right of your screen. Before we jump straight into the specific spots, we have to know the different groups so that we can sort the waypoints for each type. Here at Wargate, we have guards doing supply checks on containers. A guard making sure the other guards are working. Guards guarding a restricted zone. More guards roaming a restricted zone. Couple of guards guarding the cell block. A guard surveillancing the first group of cameras. A secret guard who is literally a robot. Even more guards roaming around a storage area. A commander who also does what the other guards do. A hidden camera operator who has been buried alive within the walls and cannot escape. And last but not least, there's Rose, the NPC. We will start off with the depot guards, aka spawn area guards or container area guards. These guards only appear on the ground floor of the depot, which is near the player spawn. They have 9 waypoints, all located on the ground level of the depot. They also have a respawn point located right next to the player spawn container. More info about it in the Fast and Glitches series. Their pathfinding is simple, as they don't access multiple floors and are easy to avoid. The catwalk guard is a single guard near the depot, but only walks on the catwalk above the first floor. They may also be called top wheel guard, according to the game's waypoint folder name. They have 5 waypoints, all positioned to have the guard overlooking the railings. Pathfinding is almost similar to a straight line, just with a few bends as the waypoints unaligned perfectly. The entrance guards are the guards who take position at the entrance leading to the restricted area. These guards will always stay in this room until lured. They have three waypoints, all located in the same room. Pathfinding is straightforward. This doesn't matter much as you'll be taking out both of them anyways. The restrict guards are already infamous in this mission for the reason that they force the players to stay hidden instead of walking through with a disguise. This makes the mission difficult to stealth for inexperienced players. However, for the professional ones, they can easily get past without a single takedown. These guards have 14 waypoints, 5 in the first hallway. Three in the kitchen, three in the second hallway, one on the stairs, and two on the second floor. Similar to the depot guards, this group also has its own respawn point located at the entrance room. Pathfindings may overwhelm you, but after a few attempts with this area, you get it memorized in no time. After dealing with the restricted guards, you can now take a breather and take out the cell block guards. There's 9 waypoints all located in the cell block.
Most are not hidden spots, but luckily, there's only two cell block guards and one camera operator. Simply take them out once they are unseen by their colleagues. Pathfinding is simple as shown on the screen. There are two camera operators in the black site, one located at the cell block. This operator surveillances the depot, the restricted area, and the cell block. The other operator is located in a small concrete box floating above the restricted area. This operator surveillances the commander area. I've already made a tutorial on how to kill them in the first Fast and Glitches bonus episode. This guard is the guard who will spawn to check the restricted area and its entrance. They will spawn once a player enters the cell block control room. This means you cannot leave anything exposed at the entrance room. This guard only has two waypoints, a start and an end. Their pathfinding is simply traveling between both waypoints. Rose is a special NPC found after rescuing her from her cell. She starts in one of the four cells. After that, she will move to the control room to open up the doors leading to the base entrance. Once the players complete most of the objectives, she will move to the blast door panel to open it up. If no players are located in the cell block or the stairs, then Rose will teleport somewhere to the stairs and start moving from there. Rose will move to the helipad after she finishes opening up the blast door. Before exfiltration, you have to authorize the landing for Falcon's helicopter. In order to do this, you have to sneak your way into the commander area. The guards and the commander himself share the same waypoints of pathfinding group, so I'll combine them together. They all have a total of 15 waypoints, 9 on the first floor, 6 on the second floor. Their pathfindings are consistent in most areas. But due to some doors having a chance to be locked or unlocked, the pathfindings in those areas may vary. Due to the mission being large and linear, there are multiple escape points placed around the map for each individual zone. There are a total of 4 active escape points. One is located near the sliding door next to the spawn container. This point is used for hostages who are in the depot, restricted area, or ventilation. Another is located inside the cell block near one of the enemy spawns. This point is used for hostages found around the cell block. 
third one, can be seen on the second floor of the base entrance near one of the enemy spawns. This point is used for the hostages who somehow happen to be at the base entrance. Last one, located on the second floor of the commander area near one of the enemy spawns. This is obviously used for the commander area. While I was double checking the escape points, I came across one more point located inside the restricted area. However, I was never able to get the hostages to run to that escape point. So I decided to leave it off and maybe include it at the end as an extra fact. Enemy spawns are broken up into 5 stages. The first stage only has one spawn location, which is the restricted area as we all know. This stage will be active if no player has opened the door to the cell block yet. The second stage has two spawn locations, both located in the cell block. This stage gets activated if the cell block has been reached. However, if you had started loud from stage 1, stage 2 cannot forcefully spawn enemies yet until the enemies from stage 1 are dead. This is because the enemy limit exists. The enemies who remain in the restricted area will die in an instant once a player enters the cell block control room. There's another thing about these two stages that is worth mentioning. If you're playing on rookie, professional, or operative, there will be a door in the cafeteria. Enemies will use this door to follow you to the cell block. However, on Elite and Legend, the door simply does not exist. This creates confusion to the enemy pathfinding, somehow making them stuck for some apparent reason. This is good news as you can safely drill and find bows without having enemies on their way to hunt you. The third stage has three spawn locations, all located at the base entrance room. One can be found next to the stairs. The other two can be found on each side of the second floor. Both are near the bridge. This stage gets activated once Rose opens up the doors leading to the base entrance. The fourth stage has four spawn locations, all can be found in the commander area. This stage activates once the commander area blast door is opened, but the supply room has not been reached yet. The fifth stage has five spawn locations. This is a mix of the third stage and the fourth stage together. All three of the third stage are active, and two of the fourth stage are active. This stage will operate once the supply room has been reached. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to stick around for the lake house and more. Until then, farewell.